Hi guys, thanks for joining me. On a recent video, I showed you how to cut these two layered earrings with the Cricut Maker. And I had a subscriber say she'd love to see how I designed them. So that's what I'm going to show you on my current video. Let me get that out of the way. Basically, I'm putting two shapes together and then I'm welding them. So let me start with a diamond. Click on shapes. Click on diamond. Now I want my diamond to be one and a half inches tall and one and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to unlock the proportions. Click on more. Now for the width, it was 1.25. And for the height, I want 1.5. Okay, so I have what I want for my diamond. Now I'm going to bring in a triangle. For my triangle, I'll unlock it as well. Click on more. I want the width of my triangle to also be 1.25 inches. And I want the height to be 2.5 inches. Okay. Now I'm going to make this bigger so we can see the details a little bit better. What I want to do is I want to take my triangle and I want to set it down so that these corners right here match up with this corner of the diamond. So what I can do is put it where it looks like it will match up. Now the hard thing is this black line makes it really difficult to see exactly where your shape is. So what we're going to do is we're going to select both shapes. Obviously it's too far to the left, so you click both shapes. Click a line, center horizontally. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see what we get when we weld those two shapes together. Okay, it turned out really nicely. It doesn't usually happen that well on the first time. So if it doesn't come together just the way you want it, just click this back arrow, move it around, try it again. And when you first do this, it might take several times, but you will learn and you'll get better. Okay, so let's make this smaller. This is the back layer of my earring. Now, I don't want it to be this pointed because then to get a little hole in it, you'd have to be so far down that the loop of your fish hook would not fit over this. And if you use a jump ring, your jump ring would have to be extremely large. So I have seen two ways to handle this. Let me click duplicate so I can show you both ways. Now, this first way is by far the easiest. Click on shapes, take a square, it can be really small. Place it over the top of your earring where you think you would want the earring to end. I'm going to say about right there. Select both shapes. Click slice. You can just drag away what you don't want. And then you can select your pile of things up here. And then, oops, I can barely reach it. And then hit the, the red X and that deletes it. So I have seen a lot of earrings that are squared off on the top, and it looks perfectly fine. And that is much, much easier than the second method. The second method, what you do is you get a circle, and then I'm going to change my circle to a different color. It's going to make it a lot easier to see where my circle is. Okay, I want my circle to be small. Just kind of have to eyeball it. Let's make this bigger again. Okay, let's try this. 
and you drag it onto your earring up here at the top somewhere. Okay, I'm going to select both shapes, hit align, and center horizontally. I'm not sure that's a good placement. Let's select both shapes, click slice, and then I want to hide my circles. Let's put this one back. And that circle looks like it's too far to the left. So I didn't do a good job of that. Let's just go back, 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 back. Okay. I'm going to move my circle down just a little bit. Select both shapes, align, center horizontally. Now I'll go ahead and slice again. What you're looking for is when you hide both shapes that this cutout looks more like a circle than what it does here. So let's go back again. I think I need to move my circle down just a little bit. Okay, third time's a charm, right? So remember to center it horizontally. Then I'm going to slice. Hide my circles. Okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. So I want to keep those circles hidden. Click on shape. Get a square. I want to make the square a lot smaller than that. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get rid of this little point right here. Because right now, I'll highlight this shape. This is all still one shape. I can't just drag that little point away. I have to slice it off. So that's why I have my square. I want to put my square just over the top cone that I want to get rid of. Select both shapes. Click Slice. Now, I do not want to move this bottom part because once I bring my little circles back, I want it to be exactly where it is now. So instead, I'm going to delete. You're going to have three layers to delete. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, now let me bring back my little circle. And it looks to me like it's slightly off centered. Now, theoretically, if you select both shapes, click a line, center horizontally, it should be in the right place. Now, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's select both of those. Click Weld, and that doesn't look bad. You have this tiny, tiny little piece over here that's not exactly right. It really would be okay, but I'll take it one step further and show you how you can get rid of that. Let's do another square. Make the square a lot smaller. I'm going to go ahead and change the square to a different color, make it easier to see again. Move your square over, turn it, kind of put it against the side of your earring to get it to about the same angle. Now, it's a little closer on this end than it is that end, and that's exactly what I want. Now again, these black outlines on the earring and the black outline on the square make it hard to get this exactly right the first time, but we're going to try. So, that looks pretty good. I don't think it's going to be close enough though, So because I can see right there, it doesn't look quite right. I'm going to angle my square just a little bit more because I don't want to take a nick out of the earring down here. All right, let's see what we get. We're going to slice, drag that over. 
Okay, so I got rid of the little nub. Now it's not exactly round up there, but it would be okay. It would look fine. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then I'll have two more layers to get rid of. There we go. So you can see <laughs> why I said this is much more simple to do. This is much more difficult to do. But I do like the rounded top of the earrings a little bit better. Again, you just kind of have to play around with it until you get it just exactly the way you want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide this one. So here's our basic earring. And that is a little bit taller than I want it. I want my final earring to be right at three inches. That's just barely above it. But me being me, I'm going to go ahead and change it. And it'll change my width just barely. And there we go. So this is my back layer. I'm going to duplicate it for the front layer, change it a different color. And move it over. Okay, so I want to show you one way to make your shorter, smaller front layer would be just to select the shape and make it smaller. But let me show you what happens. It makes everything smaller. So now it's narrower. And on my earring, this extended the front, the top layer, the front layer, the sides extended over the back layer over here on the sides. So this really isn't a great option unless this is the look you're going for. But it is going to be narrower up here than the back layer. So that's not what I want to do. I'm going to hit back. And I'll hit back again until it gets to full size. So the way I made my earrings was I selected the top layer. I unlocked it. Go up here to more. Change the height, and I did 2.4 inches. Now that will make it so that your angle of this layer is slightly different than the angle of this earring, but that's okay. That's how mine was done before, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this angle is slightly less extreme than this angle, and I thought they looked perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm going to move this layer back on top, and you can see at the top it's now the same width as the back layer. It covers the back layer more on the sides, and that's what I wanted. So that's how I did mine. Now, in hindsight, so that your front layer is a little bit bigger than your back layer, you could even select it. It's still unlocked. Go to more. For the width, just make it a tiny bit bigger. Let's just go back and put 1.23. What that's going to do is give you a little bit of extra room up here on the top to cover over the back. I did want my front to cover my back. And it did, but this allows you just a little bit more leeway if your holes aren't lined up exactly right. Now I like to punch my own holes, but if you want your Cricut to do it, what I would do is I would select a shape, circle. I like the size of my circles to be 0.08. I use a 5 64ths inch hole punch and that's about 0.08. Let's just change it another color so it's easy to see. I'm going to click out of this so all that will go away. Alright, I'm going to make two holes so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Okay, now here is a nice little hack that makes sure you get the holes at the same level in both earrings. First of all, select both earrings, say align, and align at the top. 
Okay, can't tell if that moved at all, but they are aligned at the top. Now, put your hole about where you think you want it. Whoops. On both earrings. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two shapes. I'm going to say align center horizontally. That'll move that hole to the middle of the earring. And over here, align center horizontally. That'll move the hole to the center of that earring. Now, since my earrings were aligned at the top, if I select both of the circles, and I'm going to do that by clicking on them over here. Now, I've got to hold down the Command button to be able to select more than one. That's on a Mac. Okay, so you can see over here that all I have selected are my two holes. I'm going to say Align, and I'm going to align them at the top. So if they weren't the same distance to the top of the earring before, now they will be because I aligned my earrings at the top and I aligned my holes at the top, and so they should be fine. Last step, select both shapes of the red earring, the hole and the red earring. Click Slice, drag my earring away, just get rid of this whole pile. Select both shapes on this side, click Slice, move my earring away, and just get rid of this whole pile. So now, let me bring the red layer to the front, click Arrange, send a front. And there's my earrings. Now, if you want to see these earrings cut, you'll want to go to this tutorial. Then really the final thing is just duplicating both layers. And there you go. So just have fun with Design Space. Play around with it, make mistakes, figure out how to fix your mistakes. Remember this back button is your friend. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you'd like to see what I'll be working on in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. I'm Marilyn. Bye-bye.